you have remarkably little here on early to winter history. All these gifts to the Inquisition, and the best they can do is the Malefica Imperio, trite propaganda. But if you want 20 volumes on whether Divine Galatea took a shit on Sunday, this is evidently the place to find it. If I knew what you were looking for, I could help you. Ha! <laughs> you? I rather doubt that. Ah, <sighs> I apologize. That was unworthy. Did I see something by Genitivi here? I could have sworn. What is this about, Dorian? What else could it be about? What happened at Adamant, of course. We went into the Fade. Physically went in. You do realize this feat hasn't been performed in over a thousand years. Corypheus and his contemporaries entered the Fade and began the Blights. In comparison. At least you were at my side. <laughs> no offense, but I'd almost rather I hadn't been. No sense of adventure? That's surprising. I've not your talent for survival. And not everyone is as discerning as I. If you can walk in the Fade, others will try to follow. Who knows what secrets Corypheus has revealed? Not all of them will be as lucky as you. What they could unleash. My advice? Keep this quiet. Let them speculate. Too many will see this as a challenge. That's a good idea. There are enough idiots in the world who think if they just use enough blood magic, their problems will vanish. It's exactly the sort of thing I want to stop back home. This... this I don't need. What I do need is a copy of the Liberalum. I'll wager I can find Corypheus's real name. If I can prove he was a grasping ankle biter with no family to speak of, the luster would come right off. Wish me luck. Inquisitor. I... I have been thinking. You remember everything now, yes? The explosion at Haven? The Fade? Escaping the breach? In your report, you said Justinia was with you. But only you emerged in the end. Why? Why were you the only survivor? She knew it was either her or me. And she wanted me to live. Of course. Of course she did. That's just like her. Her message to me. <laughs> I failed you too. I'm not sure I understand what that means. Did she say anything else? Anything at all? Please, if you remember. I'm sorry, Liliana. That was it. There are no answers in the fate. Only illusions. A warped mirror. Justinia has never failed me. I was her left hand. Now she's dead. I failed her.
Inquisitor. What's the chance say well, about this? How about that? I never paid attention. Adamant's influence continues, your worship. I submit Lord Livius Erimond of Virantium, who remains loyal to Corypheus. We found him alive, offering extreme resistance, likely because the Order will ask for his head. In more colorful terms. To say nothing of justice you might personally require for what was suffered in the Fade. I'm struggling to understand how judging you can make up for anything that happened. I recognize none of this proceeding. You have no authority to judge me. On the contrary, many officials have communicated that they will defer to the Inquisitor on this matter. Because they fear, not just Corypheus, but Tevinter, rightful ruler of every piece of ground you trod in your pathetic life. I serve the living God. Bring down your blades and free me from the physical. Glory awaits me. Since death is a validation for you, I will delay it. Lord Livius Eremond of Verantium, you'll spend the rest of your days in the deepest, darkest hole we can find. We shall see which of us outlives our legacy, Inquisitor. Another of the lingering pains of Adamant, your worship. Sir Ruth is a senior warden of the Order. She was one of the many who slit the throat of another to bind a demon. She does not contest this. In fact, she surrendered to us. She requests no mercy. She wants the public justice of the Headman's Axe. You're very serious about this. Is more death the answer? There is no excuse for my actions. I murdered another of the Order. That blood marks me more than the Blight ever could. Accepting their actions while thralls of Corypheus, many treaties allow wardens any extreme if it opposes the Blight. I can't do it. I can't use the greater good to justify my crimes, as if it would create a future I could be a part of. It is wrong that this broke me. I've done worse with full sanction. I can do nothing except be an example of the cost. Nothing brings out fear and pity like a criminal bound for the mines. Have Sir Ruth put in the stocks, then serve her sentence at hard labor. If it serves as a warning, I go willingly. Any news on the House of Repose, Inquisitor? What's the next favor we need to get these Duparakats a lordship? We need a judge of the royal court to procure documents acknowledging them as nobility again.
Our soldiers handled themselves well in Adamant. We've come a long way since Haven. I fear there's still a ways to go, but we're prepared. Inquisitor. Inquisitor. Just handed some intelligence to the spy master. No. But you like demons! I enjoy the company of spirits, yes, which is part of why I do not abuse them with bindings. It isn't abuse if I ask. Not always true. Also, I do not practice blood magic, which renders this entire conversation academic. He won't bind me. He's a mage and he likes demons, but he won't help. Why would you want Solus to bind you? So I'm safe! If Solus won't do the ritual to bind me, someone else could. Will. Like the Warden Mages. And then... I'm not me anymore. Walls around what I want. Blocking, bleeding, making me a monster. We'll find a way to keep you safe without binding you, Cole. I have a suggestion, if Cole is ready to listen. I recall stories of amulets used by Ravani seers to protect spirits they summon from rival mages. A spirit, wearing an amulet of the Unbound, was immune to blood magic and binding. It should protect Cole as well. The resources of the Inquisition could be used to find such a talisman. Good. They will not take me. Inquisitor, if you're looking for the commander, he's gone to speak with Seeker Pentagast. <laughs> 